One of the most peaceful places I've ever been was a front screened-in porch in the mountains of Arkansas. And there was a storm outside, a thunderstorm, but inside here was a peace and a tranquility. We would watch the rain, we would sit there and enjoy it, but not get wet. We had a shelter over us. Peace was there. One of my favorite places in the Bible is where it says, Peace, be still. I pray that it is a divine command in you, especially when things are not going as planned in your day, in your outer environment. Now, when I talk about outer environment, that's something not inside of you. It's something out here, around you. It could be in your workplace, your home. All of us need what I call a home base in consciousness. We need to find a center within us that is not touched by the storms without. The busier our lives become, and they are very busy, it is more necessary to enter this secret place within where we can actually touch the peace of God. Peace, be still. Jesus said to the winds and the waves, and just so we say, peace, be still. To the surging emotions that can rise within us when we want to respond to outer things by having those emotions rise in us and the storms created in us, we know we're going the wrong way. We find that we can react to the troubled news around us, troubled situations, in a thousand times more effective way when we remain at peace. Then we're able to think clearly. Then we're able to act with full energy. Always our response to outer turmoil can be a peaceful one so that we touch the divine center within us and then through that power we can touch the outer situation that seems in turmoil and the people within it. God has given to us through God's Spirit within us. And it is our absolute privilege to remain in constant contact with God. And if we will thus gain control over the storms in our own lives.